Hi, my name is Wendy, and I'm going to tell you a Passover story from my youth. I am very excited because Passover is in a few days. This story is about a Jewish food called gefilte fish, and it's made from a fish called a carp. It's about a family living in New York in a tenement. A tenement is an apartment where many families live together, and usually they would share a bathroom. I was very connected to this story because my family, they came from Eastern Europe and they lived in tenements in the Lower East Side of New York. The book is called The Carp in the Bathtub. The author is Barbara Cohen and the illustrator is Joan Halpern. The pictures are hysterical. So sit right back and listen in style to a story. Hope it makes you smile. Hi. I'm Leah, and I have a little brother named Harry, and we live in Brooklyn with our mama and our papa. They say we're really lucky because we have our own bathroom. I don't think we're very lucky. We have to take showers and baths twice a week, but my friends don't. They have to take a bath once a week. Well, let me tell you. My mom is known throughout New York for having the best food. Stuffed cabbage, chicken soup, and gefilte fish. She makes gefilte fish on Passover. Passover is my favorite holiday. I'll tell you about our Seder night. We have a special dinner where we invite our family. Uncle Moishi, Aunt Malka, Cousin Sipora. And the year that I was nine years old, we invited Mrs. Ginsburg, who lives downstairs. She had recently lost her husband, Joe. He was such a kind man. She also brought her daughter with her. Well, the Seder is really fun for kids. We get to stay up late. We get to tell stories. We get to hide the special matzah called the Afi Komen. It's a really great time. Well, Mama, as you know, would cook her gefilte fish. I'll tell you what she did to make it. About a week before Passover started, she'd go to the market and she'd pick out the fattest, shiniest fish. She'd put it in a bucket and she'd bring it home. Then she would let the fish swim in the bathtub. That year, we thought we had a really intelligent, friendly fish. He would come to us when we give him lettuce, He'd come when we'd give him crusts of bread. It made going to the bathroom really, really fun. We grew really attached to Joe. Yeah, we called him Joe after Miss Ginsburg's husband. And we did not want Mama to make him into gefilte fish. One day before Passover, Mama said, I need to go to the market. Leah, can you watch Harry? Of course, Mama. When Mama left, Harry and I had a plan. We had to save Joe. We took a strainer very carefully. We got Joe in the strainer and put him in the bucket. The water was splashing everywhere as we carried him down to Mrs. Ginsburg's house. We knocked on the door and Miss Ginsburg answered. She was so kind. Leah and Harry what do you have? Oh, Miss Ginsburg, we have Joe. You've got to save Joe. Joe, Miss Ginsburg said. Who is he? Oh, he's our fish, our carp, and Mama's going to make him into gefilte fish, and we don't want that to happen. He's our friend. Well, children, I'm Mama's good friend, and you know how much she loves her gefilte fish. Listen, you could leave Joe for a while. So Harry and I had to think what to do. We decided to meet Papa at the train station. We went to the train station and Papa saw us and said, what are you two up to? How did he know? Well, Papa, we brought our fish, Joe, into Miss Ginsburg's house. We couldn't let Mama make him into gefilte fish. Children, you know that Mama saves her money and works very hard to make a filter fish for Passover. We must take him back and put him in the bathtub. 
So we went to Miss Ginsburg, and very easily, Papa took Joe, put him in the bucket, and before you knew it, he was back in the bathtub. Mama never knew what happened. The next day, I went to school. Harry did not, but you know what Mama did. Mama took the knife, cut Joe, took off the scales, and then made the filter fish. She mixed matzo meal and eggs and made fish balls and then put them in the broth. When I got home, I asked Harry if he watched. No, he said. I went to Miss Ginsburg. Do you know what? It felt like we could smell the gefilte fish for weeks. Actually, Harry and I felt like we had aged. We were older than Mama and Papa. So, for Passover Seder, they had gefilte fish. A few days after the Seder, Papa came home, and he had something special in his hand. Oh, it was a cat. Leah and Harry, I have a pet for you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Do you know what we named him? We named him Joe. Mama was confused. Why would you name him Joe? Well, now I am a grandmother. Got to put my wig on. I am a grandmother and I have satyrs of my own. At our satyrs, Harry comes, my grandchildren come, my children come, and of course, I have gefilte fish from a jar. I never eat the gefilte fish, either does Harry. My grandchildren think it's because it's not as good as my mother's was. But you know the truth. I don't eat it. He doesn't eat it. Could you eat a friend? The end. I'm wishing everyone a very happy and healthy Passover.